Major Mohammad Ali Shah, uh, defense expert, is joining us on the program as well. Ali, once again, we are getting mixed reactions, mixed uh, ambivalent uh, reactions from uh, Zelensky and the Ukrainian government. On one hand, they are refusing to submit to the Russians, and on the other hand, they are also talking about peace. They are also talking about a truce with Russia. How are these two opposite parallels going to mix, if they are going to mix at all? A uh, very difficult question, Vineet, but a very practical question. Yes, this is something which most of us would be wondering that how would the two be able to mix that on one hand you talk peace, on the other hand you would want to actually imply things on ground. What I analyze from this is, Vineet, that you know, Russia's demand right now is to not to, it was not just only about uh, accepting NATO membership, which uh, President Zelensky a couple of days back he came and said, we are not interested in NATO membership. It is totally detached themselves, demilitarize themselves from the West, from America and from the NATO countries where they should not take any aid from them. And they are they are countries which have followed that model. And uh, President Zelensky also is saying no. But you know, I believe one thing, believe that once a commitment given is a commitment given and in 1991 itself when James Baker had told that there would not be any further expansion of NATO beyond East Germany. I think the NATO should have stuck to that. But anyhow, two mistakes don't make a right. Mistake, we, if we go back in the history, I don't want to go back too much in the history. We already discussed that much earlier. Already. So now, the way forward is, I think, President Zelensky also. See, you don't clap with two hands. Of course, the whole world going against Russia and uh, everyone, but you don't clap with two hands. Now, Russia has put up certain demands. I think President Zelensky should actually, uh, it's not just about hinting, it's not just about talks. Like, we've had... 15 round of talks with China, but nothing comes out. Each talk is a stalemate. So these peace talks would ultimately, I do not, then they would result into a stalemate. If you really want something concrete to come out from one single talk, it has to be documented, like say with China. If it's documented on a high level in politically, diplomatically, if it's documented and kept, then it is uh, for keeps. But when you talk and something and you do something else, so now because Russia is going to get unreasonable sooner, later on, because they're being cornered and the demand will go on increasing. So the moment their demand, at as as the moment, I do not see them very unreasonable with it. I think they are quite reasonable. They are saying that, okay, uh, and uh, President Zelensky has accepted that he will not join NATO. But he, I, I think Ukraine should just divorce itself from the West completely. What is the point? Why that only comes come to one, one bottom line to one thing, that, you know, the politicians over here, the leaders will get the people killed and they will brainwash the people and they will... Uh, get the feeling of nationalism into their respective countries and they will use them to fight but they will retain the chair irrespective whether they live in an underground shelter or they live in a palace or however the conditions are. So ultimately it comes down to politics Vineet and you know again it comes down to a total beating of humanity on both the grounds. This only goes on to prove one thing that you know a politician will go to any extent to save a seat. And it's not, I, I don't know by the bunkum that you know a good leader is uh, fighting for his people and all. That is, I, I really, it's all hogwash. It is all hogwash. A good leader will never get his men sacrificed. In the army, we follow one, one ruling. If an insurgent has to escape, let him escape. But he will not inflict a single casualty on any of our soldiers. So no country, no professional army would want to inflict casualties in either ways. But when the leader, when a dictator, say, Russia also has a dictator, President Putin is a dictator who has been in power for about 20 years, sometimes Prime Minister, President, fine, that's okay, I mean, he, he sometimes uh, power corrupts also, you become, it's, well, I will not say it's fine, it is, it is wrong, and it's a wrong time to have invaded into a country at the time when the world economy is down, the world is already fighting Corona. That's true, that's a, that's a good point, Ali, some more breaking news coming in, a man was killed in Kiev as a result of a downed rocket, uh, three people were also injured and 30 were evacuated. And a fire and a partial collapse of structures has also been reported in upper floors of an apartment building. And uh, this obviously is uh, after Russian shelling. More breaking news, a Russian truck that was carrying soldier, soldiers, I beg your pardon, gets ambushed by an RPG-18, which was fired by uh, the Ukrainian territorial defense fighters in the Kharkiv area is what we are learning. Ali, continue with your thought. You were making, uh, uh, you know, uh, logical points over there that COVID-19 has already ravaged and damaged the world economy 
and what's happening between Russia and Ukraine is only going to accelerate that decline or that problem uh, a bit further. Absolutely, Vineet. And you know, it's not just see Russia, it's a beginning to an end for Russia in a lot of ways. But they will uh, not just drown, they will take Ukraine along and they will take everybody else along. So it is really, and it can really escalate further. We just saw on your channel, people are coming and uh, the old medics, the old soldiers are coming back and they're joining. They're saying, we'll fight for Ukraine. I mean, the whole world is uniting. Now, earlier I was giving the analogy of an ant and an elephant fighting, where the uh, ant who have no chance, but if the ant uses its strategic mind, it can actually create havoc for the elephant. Now, I would rather put it this way now. The whole world is the elephant. Right, and Ali. Russia, yeah. Russia is the ant. And Russia is creating havoc for the whole entire world right now. So, and there are a lot of Russians who are protesting against President uh, Putin as well. In fact, yeah. uh, Two days back, they were they were the Ukraine flag was put in. Uh, uh, Not Putin too put many of those, uh, Ali, but nevertheless, we have run out of time. Appreciate you joining us and giving us your expert analysis on the sensitive situation in Ukraine.